The president's principal private secretary, Molika Mukama, has informed the Land Commission that her office expected the ministry to do thorough investigations as regards the compensation of absentee landlords. The directive means you, all, you have all your facts right, but for management, you allow them to do their management, investigate, evaluate, see whether it is within their framework, in their legal framework, see whether they, it, is, it is within their plans. It was discovered that the Minister for Lands, Betty Amongi, made decisions of payment outside the law. So it was clear the agenda was set at the beginning. And for me, I also don't expect people to pay outside their budgets, outside their laws. The lead council, Ebert Wiencha, showed Molly Kamukama the letters that were allegedly issued by her office. Ms. Kamukama, however, dismissed the letters saying they were misunderstood by the minister. I, I also get letters, by the way, from the minister yes. as an accounting officer. Yes. And you use those letters, eventually they can, yes. they can be paid. But you pay within your law as, as, as an I, entity. And I agree with you. As an entity. I agree with you. Yes. That. She told the commission that the office of the president receives reports made by different ministries. Each ministry had meet a audience with the president at the own seat of this term of office, which I happen to attend. The commission found it necessary for government to put in more safeguards to control the management of the land fund. Because this situation uh, brings out a situation where people are ready and willing to misrepresent, to deliberately mis misunderstand, uh, instructions so that they can achieve their personal benefits. The Commission adjourned to Wednesday so that Kaye UBC.